What's up guys, V22 here, and today we're back with another tutorial video. Now, a while ago, I uploaded a video on how to rip N64 models. Well, this is going to be like kind of an extension to that. This is going to be specifically on how to rip properly rip models from Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need uh, this blender, bl blender, blender add-on. You're going to want... Okay, I'm going to leave all these in the description below, but... You're gonna want this blender add-on. You need it to be a dot zip, cannot be dot rar, so I'm gonna be using this one. Uh, you're gonna need ZRE, which is how you're gonna extract the models. You actually don't need an emulator at all. You're gonna need Blender version 2.79, and you can use this version without the entire thing, but I really don't like the interface in this one, so I'm gonna be using the modern version of Blender, so I'm gonna have two blenders today. And you're going to need a ROM, so which I obviously can't provide, so let's get started. Alright, so once you got your ROM, the ver okay, the game I'm going to be using is Majora's Mask, because, you know, of course. So what you're going to want to do is, okay, download everything, get your ROM, uh, put ZRE somewhere where it's easily accessible, so I'm just going to have it right here on my desktop. And what you're going to want to do is take the ROM and drag it into the ZRE, and it'll start ripping. Take a couple seconds, and now there's this folder called data, and now there is a lot and lot of files. So at this point, you're gonna want to, um, where is it? You're gonna want to open Blender. I, this is Blender's um, seven point, uh, two point seven nine. So you're gonna want to open it. Take a bit. So once you're here, uh, delete everything, because every Blender user does that. And you're gonna want to go to File. And user preferences, it's under save copy and above save startup file. So go to user preferences. And now you need to go get your, oh jeez, like it. Now you need to go get your um, add on. So once you've downloaded it from here, you're going to want to put it in your documents folder, or at least, again, a folder you can actually access from here. So you want to go to so install add on from file. And let's, it's in, um, I've already done it, but I'm just going to show you like what I did. So we're in documents folder, and you're, again, this is why you want it in a um, in a zip file because if you have it like say in a um, like just a folder, you click on it, it just leads you to another folder. So that's why you don't want that. So you're gonna want what you're gonna do is double click it, and it should install. Again, I already have it installed. So after you do that, you're gonna have to go find it. The easiest way to do it is just go. So the category is in all right now. You're gonna go to user, and it's right there. You check it. And you're good to go. So now uh, you have to go all the way down to import, and there's a new option called Zelda 64.zobj um, and zmap. Click on that, and now you have to go to your data file. So, um, hold on, wait, let me let me see if this will work. Let me just like copy and paste this. There you go. So now you go to your data folder, but you may be saying that's a lot of files. But I only want to rip one. We're going to be ripping Link today. I actually have already ripped Link. Um, here's the result. I'm going to show you it. Uh, there it is. I've already ripped Link. The reason I'm doing it again is... Ah, uh, crap. The reason I'm doing it again is because uh, I already have all the textures and I really... I was planning on ripping Kaifei, but like that's going to take a while. But yeah, here's... Here should be... That should be the end result. So I've already got Link. Alright, so... Um... But, like, there's no names on these, so, like, what do I do? Well, you're going to want to go to this website. I'm going to be link. Okay. I'm going to be linking this in the description below. And, basically, this tells you all the, like, the zip file. Or, like, all the file names. So, this is for Link. Under his Goron Link. There's one. Here's one for Ocarina of Time as well. I'll be linking this in the description below. This is for a warning. When you're copying this, you have to have .z object or else it won't load. Like, hold on. Let me see. If you don't have it, I'm going to get rid of it. And you try to import it, nothing will show up. So let me go to dot z object again. And when you try it now, it actually loads. So yeah, there is your model rip. Um, but it has no textures, except it actually does. Yeah, as you can see, it's very messed up, but we will be fixing this. However, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, no, no, okay, once you go back to the folder that your um, game ROM is in, uh, it's right here, and go back to the data folder, you might not see this textures, and these are all the, 
character's textures, with the exception of the mouth, oops, the exception of the mouth and the eyes. For whatever reason, those don't rip properly. Um, and if you're gonna want them, uh, okay, <laughs> that thing I said when like um, you don't need an emulator. I get, that is kind of a lie. You are gonna need an emulator because you're gonna have to rip those yourself. But um, thankfully, I'm a nice person, <laughs> and I I did this. So if we go on to um, this website, go on, if you go into textures resource, go to N64, go to um, the L, go to Majora's Mask, and I have ripped them. It was, this was a while ago, but I have ripped the textures. Uh, this really terrible text. Um, the only thing you need to do is just flip them right side up. They're upside down right now because that's how it ripped back when I did this. I should probably redo this at some point, but this is how it looks. Just go here and just flip them upside down and you have all the textures. You're only going to want to do that for the eyes and the mouth because look, if you can see right here, this is what the textures look like right here, but if you go to that file I went to earlier where I ripped Link, you see that the textures are different. They're like layered or like duplicated or whatever. So, yeah. So now that you got your link, you can edit it here on this blender, but I don't like the interface because for someone, when you click, this stupid thing moves. So go down to export dot fbx. Yes, dot fbx. Uh, I'm gonna make a full. Uh, there's there's one here, but that's again I did this yesterday, so I'm actually gonna delete that right now. This is in documents, right? Yes, it is. All right, so let me delete that. All right. And let me reset it. There you go. So you can name it anything. I'm just going to name it the export. You are now free to close it. Uh, shrink this. Let's go to this. And I'm going to make a folder called um, just normal link. Or lank. Because I, I think I do have a folder on this desktop that is called link already. All right, what the fuck? I have no idea why that changed the name. Alright. But yeah, just put it there. And let's get started. So open up the new Blender. This one's interface I can actually get behind. Uh, is it still? Yep. All right. So again, get rid of everything. Go to go to import .fbx and go find the folder. Uh, it's on desktop. There. Oh, it's the first one. And now Link is right here. But again, his textures are kind of weird. They're no longer um, green as you can see, but uh, if you watch my last tutorial, you can use that same method to change it into green as you can see they're right here. So I'm actually going to do it. I'm just going to open this up and just going to import all the textures and make it so you can actually see the large icon. There you go. I'm just going to copy all these textures. There you go. Yeah, whatever. So that should be all the textures. I don't know. All right. So we have to we have to actually fix this guy. So first thing we want to do is go to bone. As you can see, he's actually rigged. It's already rigged, so you don't have to do anything there. So go down to viewport display and put it in front, and you can change it to something else. I'm actually going to change the stick or not to wire. Actually, I'm just going to keep it as a. Okay, to make it simpler, I'm going to change it to um, envelope. I think yes. So the the actual things are big. So go to pose mode, and you're gonna have to repose the guy. If you saw the ones from the link I ripped yesterday, oh Jesus! You saw the ring link I ripped yesterday. You can see it was like T posing. You're gonna have to do that yourself. So you're gonna have to re-angle this thing. This is gonna be kind of a tedious process. This is the best way to do it, in my opinion. You can do that, and uh, we're almost there. Here, all right. And um, where else? Fix the legs. Do it like this. I got my throat is like dying. Right, make it as flat as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just, yeah. All right. Uh, this should be the neck. Yes, it is. It's kind of weirdly angled, so I'm gonna bring my other link in here in a bit, so I can actually like properly angle it because it's kind of like laying down, and I want it to be sitting up. All right, and then this thing. All right, just um. My cat is in here from uh, last episode. I just finished recording Majora's Mask. 
and I'm doing this. Right, just put it there. It again doesn't have to be perfect. The arms are a little weird. They're like twisted. If you like, um, oh, wait, let me just, oops, let me select both of them. If you just like do this, you can see they're like kind of twisted. But just do that. Oh, oops. Right, just do this. Have them like this, and they should be back to normal, as you can see. Cause look, if we go back to this, and you just, oh geez, I really hate this camera. Good. If you try to T pose it right now, you can see the um. Oh wait, oops. You can kind of see that like his arm is like twisted, and you don't want that. So just do the thing I did before. There you go. Just click on you. Oh yeah, if you want to select multiple objects, you just select. Um, you just press Shift, and then click on it. So there you go. He kind of looks like he's dolphin diving, but he's not the Zora Link right now. It's kind of funny. Just do that. And we're basically done, but like his arms are still, his hands, I mean, are like uh, still weird. Let me see if I can like do like this. No, you cannot do that. <laughs> Alright. Let's do like this. And do it. Oops. What the hell? Hold on. Let me, let me just redo this one because there's like two. Some, for some reason, some of these have, like, two joints on it, and I don't really know why. I think most of them do. So, yeah, now he is T-posing. So, now we need to texture this thing. So, I will be right back. Alright, we're back. And i have he's now standing up straight, and I forgot about the hat. So, now, um... Okay, so he's back. Okay, so now to texture him. So, as I said before... Uh, let me go to link. Actually, okay. Um, let me go back to the data file. And my computer is being an asshole, and is now overheating. All right. So, if you go back to the data file again, the textures are all .gimp, and you're gonna want to convert that to PNG. Thankfully, in order to do that, it's very simple. You don't need to go into any extra program. You just need GIMP, <laughs> which GIMP is free, so don't worry. And so is Blender. Mm -hmm. So, go to the texture. And you go to File, and you go to Export As, and when you're exporting, change the .tga to dot, um, I don't know, yeah, dot .png, and you'll get a PNG texture. So it's very simple. So in order to texture this guy, you go, you want to, I, I like going in order, so let's do this. Right, and, oh, wait, I'm still in object mode. All right, so, so let's go, go to Shading, just like last time. Definitely, my last guy definitely helps, so. What you're going to want to do, what I really recommend is, uh, you see how there's like a setup here? We'll go here and just get rid of that. Just get rid of it, in my opinion, because it saves a lot of hassle, in my opinion. So, and then you go to add, you go to, no, you go to add, you go to texture, and then you go to image texture. The reason you want to do this is because when you ex export it as a um, .fbx um, thing, which you, it was one of the only, um, formats that actually supports um the freaking that is one of the only s formats that supports uh bones like bone like because if you export it as a dot object it will not keep any of the bones so yeah, this is one of the only ones that actually does the reason you want it is because when you export it as a dot um has a dot .fbx, when you click on the model nothing will show up because all the textures are like transparent and it's really weird so you're gonna keep, you're gonna want to keep doing this for every single one of the textures, and you're gonna also want to extend some of them because if you, like for example, like okay, not all of them though, because if you go, if you extend this one, you can see it's now like kind of falling off to the side, and you don't want that. But with some of them, like uh, let me do this one real quick. Uh, let me just all right, again, you have to do this image texture, alright, whatever. Uh, just click on the texture. If you do it, as you can see, he's like polka dotted. It's very ugly. Very, very, very ugly. So, But if you go to extend, it's gone. So you're going to want to keep doing this for the entire time. And we're back, and wow, it has actually been a while. But now it should look at least something like this. Again, I do. I actually do recommend you watch my previous video to learn about some of the, um, especially like some of the color techniques. But it's done. So now, um... What I recommend you do is get rid of all these. As you see, there's a lot of sharp corners. You can see all the polygons. That looks kind of ugly. So what I recommend you do is go up here. I don't know. Wait. 
first thing you should always do is save and then exit and then open it back up because just to see if you missed any textures because if you do if you did they will show up in purple which it seems that I didn't uh, yeah I don't think I missed any textures so um, now just select everything there you go and then go to edit, no, no, join them first and go to edit mode it shows up like this in edit mode but don't worry it's fine but as you can see there's a lot of blue lines and if you go to merge vertices it will take rid of some vertices but not enough so what you're going to want to do is undo that go to I think it was control E yeah control E and then clear sharp and it will get rid of all of them so now you merge vertices by distance and now as you can see it is now smooth so yeah and that's basically it that's basically all you need to know so if you go to pose mode it actually you can actually like move it that's not the thing I wanted to move you can actually move it and it actually moves really well so yeah that is how you rip um, a model from this game obviously these are just like the character models I didn't really go into the maps because that is like way more complicated <laughs> But, yeah, that is it. So, um, that was something else. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, like, so oh, wait, no. <laughs> no, okay, and then, okay, the reason you want to do the thing with the, um, with the texture earlier, because now if you export it, it'll actually show up. Again, I do recommend FBX, because not only when you go there, it actually, you know, looks correct. Like you can actually see like all the tech because if you do it as dot object it'll look like this yeah but also because if you go down here bones and it actually retains all the um, bone material so now hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did a like subscribe and if you didn't uh, why I've been watching at this point I hope you guys found this video useful share with your friends if they've been looking into this stuff and I'll see you guys in the next episode bye bye